today we're going to be doing a really cool project um, based on how um, some groups of indigenous people told stories and passed along information that they had and stories to entertain stories to teach um, and they they did it a little bit differently than some of the things we do although we still use picture books um, this is an example of a story told by an, a group of indigenous people. And it's written on this. What, what do you think that is? That's a buffalo skin. Um, and they didn't have paper like we have. And so they used, one of the thing about the, the Native American or the indigenous peoples is when they, um, they respected animals and they used every part that they could. And one thing that they used the skins for is to write to draw and they told the story using pictures that represented something and they also told it this is kind of interesting they didn't tell it one side of the page to the other the way we write our letters they told it in a spiral it started in the middle it started on the end and came down to the middle that's right right miss kelly it starts on one end and then as the story is told it comes in right to the and, middle and they're all some of them are different some, Some of them are different, start, but this one does start. That's how that this one. one is, and that's how we're going to model ours. But yes, there are lots of different examples. Just like there are lots of different kinds of books that we have, um, there are lots of different examples of how people told stories. Um, but we're going to try to do one sort of like this. Of course, we're not going to use a buffalo skin. We're going to use a piece of paper, and we're going to use these symbols that you have in your supply pack. Before we do the symbols though, we're going to tell our story in words. And I'm gonna write my story down because that way um, I don't have to try to remember it as I pick the sim symbols. So if your grown up could write your story down, that would be very helpful. So you'll tell your story. I'm gonna start mine as once there was a woman who had a horse. One day, the horse got lost. She looked near the river and saw bird tracks. Miss Katie, it looks like you're using these pictures to write your I'm story. I'm picking some of the pictures that I'm going to use. Um, right. Which you can do, like if you look at the pictures beforehand, if you look at some of the symbols and ask a grown-up to read them to you, then you can um, have some ideas about what you wanted to include. That's a good point, Miss Kelly. The tracks led her to her fire and the horse was there. She was so happy. Okay, now I'm gonna go through and pick out what words could be represented by symbols and in a way to tell the story. So I know woman is one, that's down here. And then horse is definitely one, that's here. And then let's see, so she, we have river, we have night, and we have day. So one day, okay, that's the sun. And then she looked near the river, river is one. And bird tracks, one. And the tracks led her to her fire and then there's nothing for happy, but I'm going to put this heart for love. And if I were taking a little longer, I probably would have explained why the bird tracks led to the horse. I was going to say that the bird was riding on the horse's back and they had become friends, but I, I forgot that part. And you, if you're doing this at home though, and you forget a part, you can go back and do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna, continue on since I'm making the video, but you can feel free to do whatever you like. So when I start to draw, I'm gonna start on 
the bottom of my paper because remember we're going to try to make our story in a spiral with my first picture and mine's going to be the woman you can make these any color you want you want to make them nice and colorful so i'm picking i'm using crayons you can use markers um, colored pencils whatever you have at home so there's the woman that was the first word that i underlined there and that's the symbol i copied it and then I'm going to come up. I'm trying to make it kind of a curved circle. Don't worry too much, just do your best. If it doesn't come out in a circle, that is fine. Okay, we're just trying to copy what um, we saw on our poster there. And then the horse, let's see, I'm gonna make a purple horse. And I'm drawing quickly, but it, this this project, when we do this project in school, we usually take more than one day. So don't worry if it takes you a long time. I've been drawing a long time, so I'm quicker. And um, I've done this project a lot with a lot of students. So I'm a little more used to it, but don't worry if it takes you a longer time. Take your time, have fun with it. Don't get frustrated. Um, enjoy yourself. You know I love to draw, and I know you guys do too because you guys do such a good job whenever we draw in our classroom. And the next one was day, and there's my sun. And now I'm looking for river. River is this kind of squiggly line, and I'll make that one blue. I'm trying to press nice and hard with the crayon to make it nice and colorful, and I'm going in kind of an arc. I'm gonna keep going. If you know one thing you could do is have yourself or a grown-up draw a circle a spiral in pencil and that way you can kind of follow along if you want to um, you don't have to do that but and, th and then we'll erase it afterward oh the bird tracks his bird friend these came from the horse's bird friend all right so let's see those look like this Is that really what we were looking at some tracks yeah, we were the owl okay. track was kind of an x so this must not be an owl these are a little bit different different birds have different tracks uh let's see then fire and i'm going to make the fire two colors i'm going to make the log part brown and then i'm going to make the fire part orange and then i'm going to come in And I'm going to do my heart. So I didn't quite get to the middle of my spiral. I could keep going with more, um, more symbols, more parts of the story, or I could have made my symbols bigger. I made mine kind of small. Um, then if you want your grown up to draw, we usually in the classroom draw these little arrows that tell the order of the story. So I could have spaced these out a little. You know, Miss Katie, I'm looking at your room. I mean, if a grown-up might help write the story in the middle, you could, they might even oh, be able to. Oh, yeah. That would be a good idea. I could take my story here that I wrote on this piece of paper, and maybe I could cut it out and paste it right in the middle there. And then I could read the story and also tell the story. And when you're finished, you should tell this story to someone if you can. Okay? You could go along and show them what each symbol means in your story in order. The woman, the horse day, the river, the bird tracks, the fire, and happiness. What a great story, Miss Katie. Thanks.